All right, so in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the 118 scale Apache by Elite Force. And if this is anything like their 118 scale Blackhawk I reviewed, it should be a pretty good model. Elite Force did some pretty good details on their models. They were mostly pre-built, so all you have to do is put a couple pieces together. And if you haven't checked out my Blackhawk video, go ahead and watch it. I'll put a link up here in the video and check it out after this one. So let's get to the unboxing. All right, got some tape on the sides. Okay, so it did come with some instructions. It just tells you how to assemble everything. Okay, so this model actually comes with quite a few pieces. And then on the bottom here, you have the rotor blades. So I'm gonna get all these wire ties off and get back to you. All right, so here's everything that came within the box. So we're gonna start with the tail assembly. It just says we need to push it in. Okay, so to assemble the tail, all you need to do is push these in together. Next, we're gonna assemble the tail rotor blades. And they don't actually spin individually, but they do spin as a whole once you put it in. So all you do is just pop this in right here, just like that, and it does spin. Okay, next we're gonna assemble the stabilizer, and it just has these two little tabs here that line up with those, and you just push them on. And they do move up and down. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble the weapons pylon. And for these, we have the AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. And also the Hydra 70 millimeter rocket pods. And you can actually see the blue tips of the rockets right there. So the Hellfire missiles go on the inside pylon and you just push it in like this. They don't go in that good. I've been trying to actually get it on and they don't really wanna snap. The Hellfires don't, but the Hydra 70 rocket pods go pretty good. But the thing is, once you get them on, they do not want to come off. So that's what it looks like with one of the weapons pylons assembled. All right, so to assemble the weapons pylons, you just have this little slot right here and this tab, and you just push it in. Like that. Same thing for the other side. Okay, so to install the 30 millimeter M230 chain gun, you just take it and you line it up right here. And you have these little tabs on either side that stick out of the gun. And you just line it up with those slots right there. And it does swivel side to side. And it also tips up and down. Okay, so now for the rotor hub assembly, you just take the rotor blades and they just pop in. There you go. All right, so we're gonna leave this off for now until I get to the detailed cockpit view so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so here are the two pilots it comes with, and they are actually different. Take off the helmet here, you can see. They have two different faces. And then the helmets actually come with a microphone right here, which does move up and down. And then I think this is a helmet mounted display and then it has a hose, and I, this hose is either an oxygen hose or the electrical for the helmet mounted display. So if you know, send me a message in the comments. The pilot's shoulders move, elbows, wrist, knees, hips, and ankles as well. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a better detailed view of the cockpit. This is the pilot seat. The gunner would sit up here. And it does have a collective right there, and then the cyclic. And this is the other side of the pilot seat. and then the gunner. Okay, so now we move on to the gunner seat. Okay, so I did manage to get the pilot in, and he sits pretty well. And then also I got the gunner in too. And there was plenty of space inside. Okay, so here's how you install the main rotor hub. You just have this little post that pushes down in here. Now I have heard these blades droop over time. So if you do get this model, it's probably a good idea to either leave the blades off or support them somehow. Okay, so here it is fully assembled. 
with the rotor blades on. And the rotor blades, again, spin pretty good. Okay, so in the front here, you have the sensors and the camera, and they actually do swivel up and down. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's some writing right there. Okay, I'm going to show you around the fuselage. Has some more writing there. US Army AH-64A. So I guess they're considering this the A version. If this is not the A version, let me know in the comments, because sometimes they do get it wrong. And then here's the exhaust, and they have those covers to reduce the IR signature. United States Army. And here's the other side. It does have a tail number. And if any Apache pilots are watching this, let me know how accurate this model is. I love to hear your feedback in the comments. And there's some more writing right there. And here's a closer look at the bottom. There's the BBI logo. And these wheels are a hard plastic. They're not rubber at all. And they do feel pretty firm, but this does have some flex to it. Same with the tail wheel, it does spin. This is a pretty good model. Uh, the Apache had a top speed of around like 182 miles per hour, I think. And I think it was crispy of like 161. So it wasn't slow by any means. It isn't slow, it's actually still in service today. And I think the first one was introduced in 1986. They actually had a pretty long range too. They could go up to a thousand miles. And each one of these costs around like 35 million, I think, to produce. And I think as of like April 2020, there are about 2,400 of these produced. And these are designed to replace the AH-1 Cobra. They are powered by two GE T700 turboshaft engines. So overall, I am impressed. All right, thanks for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of other 118 scale models I review, tanks, helicopters, planes, and I have more coming, so stay tuned.